गुलबरगा शहर में हेलिक्स इंफ्रा और क्लीन क्लैट नामी दो बेंगलुरु की मशहूर कंपनियों की जानब से टेक्निकल मीट ऑर्गेनाइज की गई थी जिसको इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ आर्किटेक्ट के जरिए होस्ट किया गया है ये टेक्निकल मीट प्री इंजीनियरिंग बिल्डिंग और क्लाइडिंग मटेरियल के रिलेटेड रखी गई थी जो खासकर हॉस्पिटल्स के लिए इस्तेमाल किया जाता है इस मौके पर सीनियर आर्किटेक्ट और इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ आर्किटेक्ट ग्रुप के मेंबर्स यहां मौजूद हैं और इस इवेंट में खास मेहमान हेलिक्स इंफ्रा कंपनी से मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर मिस्टर एच डी फनिंद्रा शास्त्री टेक्निकल डायरेक्टर मिस्टर कुमार और क्लीन क्लैट कंपनी से बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट डायरेक्टर मिस्टर मयूर भगत यहाँ मौजूद थे गुलबरगा में इस तरह की टेक्निकल मीट के जरिए आने वाले दिनों में आर्किटेक्चर के लिए कंस्ट्रक्शन फील्ड में काफी फायदा हासिल हो सकता है I welcome you all and Mr. S.D. Panindra Shastri, Managing Director, Helix Infra Incorporation. Welcome you, sir. Mr. Kumar, Director Technical. Welcome you, sir. And Mr. Mayur Bhagar, Director Business Development, Kiln Clad International Limited. Welcome you, welcome you, sir. I welcome you all behalf of IIT Kalburgi Centre, sir. As we all know about exclusive product presentation by Helix Infra and Kelm Clyde International Private Limited by the technical experts. I request you all take advantage of this session. The public washroom or the hospital itself. <clears throat> so we, we uh, our clean clad uh, panels are basically coated with a polygene biomaster which ensures the activity of the microorganisms are completely removed or eliminated from a surface, especially from the walls or from the uh, ceilings itself. Uh, a lot of food that is prepared, a lot of uh, operations that happen always uh, gives forth a lot of uh, you know, microorganisms which are prevalent in the air. Cation areas are uh, typically starting with healthcare. Um, like I said, uh, your uh, hospitals where operation theaters are there, the ICU areas are there, or the cath labs are there, the clean corridors, uh, which have to be clad with it. These are some of the projects that we have uh, completed across uh, India. <coughs> you can see complete sterile environments and you know, total infection control. You don't need to spend too much time or uh, or money in terms of uh, using disinfectants and allow for the next operation to happen. Uh, clean corridors uh, where generally a uh, surgeon, before he gets into the operation theater, he has to pass through, the, uh, pass through this area. It has to be completely sterile. So the CSSD area, which is the you know, complete uh, the central sterile supply department. This has, this is one of the most important areas in the hospital, which has to be completely sterile. You can see the commercial kitchens, many five-star hotels where we have clad with uh, all the restaurants with our uh, uh, with clean clad panels. It's very very easy to maintain. You just need to use a normal disinfectant to just clean the surfaces. <coughs> Public washrooms, which are completely clad with our with our panels, uh, you know, which ensure there is no. So we have our own uh, team of uh, authorized team, which is uh, completely trained by us, who take up the entire installation. Also, maybe just we would need at max about four hours to complete a operation data, for example. Okay, the whole project, you know, we have completed in about 180 days. I am also talking, you know, going to talk about you know uh, tensile fabric structures. Of course, we have few footprints here, you know, in Gulbarga, where you know um, Kandur Mall, you know, we have done in Derga, we have done some tensile works and all that. And also, this particular banquet hall roof structure was done by us, you know, long back. Okay, so we have our footprints in Gulbarga from past about uh, 25 years. Uh, we started with a small uh, skylight application, dome application, you know, for one of the national travel uh, owner here long back almost you know you can say around 24 years back so i was very fortunate today i had to you know i happened to meet him also as well uh, <clears throat> facades really we have uh, some different innovative uh, facades you know we have one is you know the cotton steel you know which i'm going to talk about it in detail okay and uh, that's the latest trend now okay in fact uh, most of the architects you know they're going even even for the gates also okay so that it has that you know rusty patchy look kind of a finish 
uh, it, it, it gives a different aesthetic appeal altogether. I'm also talking, you know, going to talk about the mesh fabrics. Using fabric, you know, how we can create different facade patterns. Uh, primarily, you know, if the building is facing toward the south aspect, where the intensity of sunlight, you know, will be more. To cut down the sunlight, you know, to a pleasing level, there are different uh, secondary facades are used. You know, that's the trend uh, right now. Because one is, uh, it has to, you know, it will reduce the heat intensity and it will also reduce uh, lot of you know air conditioning uh, heat loads as well different column sizes different patterns of columns uh, we do have even the laser cutting punching radial drillings and all that uh, today the most of the complex things you know when you go for a project is the cost factor is a very uh, paramount importance you know for any kind of a steel building projects and all that 